We look at Korea's main industries and foreign investor success stories to present Korea's outstanding investment environment. Explore potential opportunities to grow with Korea. Hello, I'm Shin Ayo. The K-quarantine system has grabbed the world's attention. So what's behind the global recognition of Korea's quarantine system? Korea already possesses the capacity to produce outstanding biopharmaceuticals as well as talented human resources. Korea was listed on the EU whitelist and enough to sign a vaccine agreement with the World Health Organization, Korea's vaccine safety management system has gained the trust of the international community. Not only this, but K-biopharmaceuticals are standing out in the orphan drug market. In 2021, six products were approved by the US FDA and 30 more are under development. Due to COVID-19, the vaccine market and demands are on the rise. The Korean government plans to secure 192 million doses in 2021 and complete vaccination of 70% of the population by September 2021. There's also an increasing demand for various digital health services, such as digital treatment and healthcare apps due to the extension of social distancing policies. In response to COVID-19, seven companies are in the process of developing vaccines, including SK Bioscience that received the approval to start phase three clinical trials. Diverse partnerships are being made to secure vaccine raw materials. The Korean government plans to invest 2.2 trillion won over the next five years into the K-Global Vaccine Hub policy, which includes developing homegrown mRNA vaccines and ranking fifth in the global vaccine market. It's also tracking global companies' investments through tax subsidies and high-tech investment zones. Korea's vaccine industry provides an ecosystem that offers great business opportunities to foreign invested companies. As the Korean biopharmaceutical industry rises in stature, multinational pharmaceutical companies are coming to Korea and conducting research on new drugs. Today, we'll meet one company that possesses the capacity to manufacture and develop therapeutics, Cytiva Korea, and listen to their successful investment story here in Korea. Cytiva is one of the leading biopharmaceutical companies that provide the scientific community with services and technologies so that they can tackle matters concerning our public and private health better, faster, and safer. The Vice President of Cytiva Asia Pacific has agreed to talk to me and tell us all about this industry. Hello, sir. Good morning. Based on all your experience, what do you think is the strength of the Korea's biopharmaceutical industry? Well, the Korean biopharmaceutical industry has been around for quite a while and the um, government has started to invest very early on, even in the 90s already, uh, into this industry. Um, we um, did recently a um, study which we published earlier in the year which is called the Biopharma Resilience Index, measuring the, the strength of the uh, ecosystem um, and Korea really scored very well in that um, and it was ranked number one in Asia uh, and the reasons for that is that there's a really strong um, manufacturing uh, industry and infrastructure, uh, has a strong R&D ecosystem as well as government policy and regulations that support the industry here. Um, and there's a previous example that support that, um, you know, the infrastructure here, manufacture, uh, is, is one of the most um, impressive uh, sets of um, uh, capacity that exists around the world. The Korean companies are going to invest more than a trillion, uh, 10 trillion won uh, in 2023. I mean, it's a number, it's, it's hard to imagine I even. Can't even. Yeah. Exactly. Um, you know, the, the government is continuing to increase its R&D investment, uh, 
plus 30% by the end of the year again. So you can see that the success of the, the biopharma industry is not a coincidence. Uh, right, it's, right. Uh, it's a true, um, it's, it's a well thought through strategy and it's, mm -hmm. it's bearing fruit. Right. But uh, do you think Korea is resilient enough? So, do you think there's any room for improvement? It, it never stops, right? Uh, and so the resilience has, I think the, the pandemic has shown that um, every country um, is now thinking about reducing its dependence on a global supply chain. Mm -hmm. um, the localization, um, geographic uh, independence and, and of, of a global supply chain is becoming more important for governments. And so Korea is thinking uh, along the same lines, um, has announced a plan to be a global vaccine hub uh, for the world uh, and is, um, has announced a funding of 1.9 billion in that space. So that resilience can only improve, um, even though it was already pretty, uh, ranked pretty highly well, in our index. Well, seventh <laughs> place overall. There's, there's always room for improvement. Yes, there's always room for improvement. Right, right. So you recently signed an MOU with SNU, Seoul National University. So how did that come about? Like, where did that idea come from? Well, um, in this industry, and I think the pandemic has actually uh, reinforced that idea, collaboration is just so critical. Um, you know, no, nobody can do it by themselves. Um, and one of the key challenges in the industry is the access to talent. So in our collaboration with academic institution, and in this case, Seoul National University, we focus on educational programs, uh, seminars, giving uh, students access to education in the biopharma industry. There's not enough biopharmaceutical professionals uh, to serve the, in the growth of the industry. Right, right. Uh, so that's, that's where we focus on. Uh, we also install a um, lab with state-of-the-art equipment to which the students mm -hmm. and the staff will have access to start developing and um, doing research and development for new therapies. Mm -hmm. So I think it could be a great incubation center for new technology, uh, which then will lead to new innovation again. So yeah, we're very excited about that collaboration. and. In a broader sense, we do academic partnerships around mm -hmm. the world um, because we feel that, you know, again, uh, in this industry, collaboration is going to be key to success. Um, and uh, we want to do our part by helping academic institutions bring new pharmaceutical professionals to market. So do you have any advice you'd like to give to foreign companies who are planning to come to Korea and hoping to achieve the same level of accomplishment as you and Cytiva did? Do I have advice? Not necessarily. I think um, people who do their homework will quickly understand why Korea is a, is a great place to invest the access to talent, the, uh, the resources, the technology access. Um, working with governments, um, you know, we had our CEO here a couple of weeks ago uh, talking to Minister of Health and Welfare, talking to the Ministry of uh, Energy, um, Industry and, um, uh, and Trade. Uh, in terms of you know how the government is willing to support additional investment into into the country, so I can only encourage that uh, from from other companies uh, as well. It's not a very humorous answer, um, but um, the reality is <laughs> that it's a great place to be, and uh, I think companies don't necessarily need my advice to to, to recognize that reality. That's all the time we have with Mr. Francis Van Paris. If you want more information on investing in Korea, join us next time on FDI Korea.